In this video, I'm going to show you the best dock to connect all your peripherals to your iMac and MacBook and iPad that also charges them, the CalDigit TS3 Plus. Macs are sleek as they are powerful. However, with the new design language Apple has adopted over the years, and even Windows computers now, port selection has become scarce as the need for slimmer design has become the mainstream. So a docking hub is quite essential in this day and age of minimal design. The CalDigit TS3 Plus Thunderbolt dock comes highly reviewed and is even sold via Apple. I did a lot of research before purchasing the dock and wanted to show the features of what the TS3 Plus can do in this review. With just one day using the TS3 Plus, I can say this is hands down the best dock that I could have bought as it makes it super easy to connect your Mac desktop, laptop, iPad, and with only one Thunderbolt 3 cable while delivering 87 watts of power delivery to charge your devices. Link in the description below and I'll dive right into the features. Having a trusted quality dock is important as some docks out there are actually poorly made. The TS3 Plus makes it super easy to connect all your devices to your Mac or iPad with just one Thunderbolt cable. Providing monitor signal, Ethernet connection, audio, and USB powered devices like your charging cables, external drives, and providing your MacBook or iPad with power. It'll last years to come with an all aluminum enclosure and won't potentially damage or destroy your brand new computer, as some users report bad quality docks bricking their M1 powered Macs. Let's start off with unboxing the TS3 Plus and see what comes inside. You can see the box here and it does say Thunderbolt right on the front. Opening up the box, we have a nice thank you card from CalDigit with support information. It's always nice to see a company doing things like this. More documentation, rubber feet for attaching to the bottom, standard powered cable, a Thunderbolt 3 cable, which is very nice, an insanely large power supply, and finally, the TS3 Plus itself. The CalDigit TS3 is a solid rock of a dock with an all aluminum construction. I got the space gray color and there is a silver color as well. The coating on the dock is textured finish probably to help with slipping and sliding around. It has vented fins surrounding the dock to help with dissipation as devices like these can get hot with constant use, especially when everything is passing through it. The front of the device features five ports, a UHS-2 SD card slot reader, audio in and out, USB-C, and USB-A 3.1 Gen 1 ports. The SD card slot reader is ASMR worthy as it produces a satisfying clicking sound and feeling when inserting your SD card. On the back, we have the rest of the ports, the Gigabit Ethernet port, power, digital optical for audio, a Display 1.2 port, USB-C 10 Gigabit 3.1 Gen 2 port, four USB-A 3.1 Gen 1 ports, one Thunderbolt 3 downstream port to connect to other Thunderbolt devices, and lastly, a Thunderbolt 3 host port for up to 87 watts of power. This is where you'll be connecting your Mac, computer, or iPad to. The bottom of the dock has rubberized feet to help with grip as the dock can be used in a vertical orientation. If you want to lay the dock flat horizontally, you can use the rubberized feet that's provided in the box. Attaching is simple, and by just pressing with your finger, you can attach the rubber feet to the bottom like so. I've connected everything to the dock, and as you can see, it tucks in nicely right underneath my monitor. Some docks feature a power on off switch, this one does not. I'm not sure as to the reason why someone would want one when you're already connecting to a dock. But for the TS3 Plus, when you disconnect the cable from the TS3 dock, it automatically powers off indicated by the blue light. Having the SD card slot in the front is super handy instead of using an adapter or dongle and having it plugged back into the back of my iMac. You can see data transfer rates are super fast as well. Transferring 8 gigs of footage only took about 1 minute.
I've heard some people having trouble with their external hard drives on the MacBooks and Mac Mini. I have the new iMac and I get about 450 megabytes write and 620 read speeds off my Samsung T7 connecting directly to my iMac. Now some people have said that connecting to the stock helps with the speed on their MacBooks and Mac Mini. I've connected the T7 directly to the TS3 dock and get about the same speed, which is a good thing as it tells me that my iMac doesn't have this particular problem and that the TS3 dock is always running at full speed. With everything connecting to the dock, it keeps all the cords centralized and declutters your workspace. By using a Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter, the dock even connects my trusty Apple Thunderbolt display with all of its working ports, camera, and internal speakers. Now I don't have a MacBook as of yet, but the dock does power and connect to your devices all via a single Thunderbolt cable which I'll show you on my M1 iPad Pro. With a single cable, it connects and charges the iPad. Connects all external drives and displays my Thunderbolt monitor. You can access files on your external drives, copy them from one drive to another, and playback video. Since my monitor has built-in speakers, audio is coming from there as well. I love the fact that you can power and run everything to this tiny compact little dock and connect it all via a single cable. It gives me peace of mind and reassurance that everything is working as intended with all the testing I've done and it looks pretty cool tucked away underneath my iMac. If you'd like to support the channel and are thinking about buying the CalDigit TS3 Plus, I've provided my affiliate link in the description below. With all that said, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our latest videos. I wish that the TS3 Plus had two to three more USB-C ports, but hopefully we'll see that in a new model in the future. Are any of you guys using a dock or looking at this TS3 Plus? Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Peace.